because I haven't actually gotten to. Dude, where is this in the bracket? Three, I don't know. Man. Did Joe he J put a losers match up here? No way. He Joe did. J's DK. Oh, he's about to get wrecked. By the way, Joe J's Fox. DK is crazy. Joe J's DK is crazy. I'm he, sorry. He has said on Twitter, uh, son, "Son, I love you. You're about to get owned. <laughs> it's not going to be close." And this is a hard thing for me to like decide who I'd rather see win. Because Sun. It doesn't is, matter. Yeah, I'm like, telling <laughs> you what the Vegas odds are right now. Sunfish is my boy, like, I'm, I'm definitely Sunfish. closer to Sunfish than oh, I am yeah. with JoJ, but JoJ is my Ike brother, but he's not playing Ike, <laughs> so who do I root for? Well, if they're not playing your character, don't root for him. True. He's keeping it pretty close, surprisingly. You're what a mash. I would Ooh, never. Yeah, no, there's and then nothing you die you anyways, because Fox's recovery is super that. linear. If you are off stage as Fox and you are forced to up B, you literally the only thing you can do is pray that your opponent messes up that up smash on the other hand ridiculous that wasn't even the hard hit and it killed dk at like 120. all right i hate to tell you this man you gotta go i gotta go oh that's very unfortunate but you know to be fair <laughs> the, a matchup like this commentates itself i feel you you know what you're right that up be out of shield so the, really does come next time itself. he gets a spike i, I want to hear the loudest youtube oh let's go <laughs> Uh, right. I'll put H-Bucks to shame just for you, bud. Sephiroth? What? <laughs> Why did that kill it? There like you go, man. You got 100? it. Oh, Fox is so unbelievably light. Bye, Poe. Good luck. Up tilt into the back air. I mean, Sun definitely keeping this respectable. He has not taken too much damage yet, and now he has. 75% uh, on his last stock. Really needs to close out the stock against JoJ's Donkey Kong, one of the heaviest characters in the game. I think third heaviest, don't quote me on that. Top five at the very least. Ooh, yeah, and great spacing there from JoJ, just going out and catching him with that bullet smash. All right, going into game number two, we'll have to see if Sunfish can make any adaptations to put that monkey down with his space animal. Oh God, Jojo has his AirPods in. He's, he's too powerful. Going into number two, we are running it straight back, but this time Sunfish opting to go Rosalina, and I, I think this is a good pick. I do think Rosalina uh, does a very good job of boxing out DK, just keeping DK at bay with that Luma, and this is the Sunfish tried and true. This is his original main. I uh, played him back, in, played Rosa back in Smash Four as well. So we'll have to see what the Sunfish, Rosalina, and Luma has for us today. Good for until to send off stage. I'm playing very well without Luma here, just not getting hit too hard. And now that Luma has come back, maybe a little bit more on the offensive. One of the craziest things I know about Rosa is because of Sunfish, and it was he did the rabbit jab at ledge thing before I saw anybody else do it. So. That's, uh, I'm gonna call that the Sunfish. All right, just forward tilting that the star to get it away. And Sunfish just doing a really good job of slowing down the pace, not trying to like push his advantage too hard, just doing a good job of edge guarding and ledge trapping, keeping Luma out so that JoJ has to work around two characters. Ooh, trying to go for the hard read there with the up smash. Not quite going to find it, but that downer from Luma almost going to kill. Sending all the way off to the right side of the stage, and that upper going to close out that first stock. Luma is dead at the moment. Oh, no. Luma was just stuck under the stage. That's strange. I don't think I've ever seen that happen. Uh, anyway, now they're both dead. So we are back to a two-stock game, 0% on either character. Racking up the damage with the with the rapid jab, the classic Donkey Kong Country roll. Just it's such a good dash attack. It's so quick. It sets up for a lot of good positions, or rather, it puts your opponent in a bad position. I guess is what I meant by that. Holding the rapid jab on shield all the way until JoJ finally decided to drop and he got hit anyway. All right, and now the rapid jab with the Luma. Good up tilt to put 
JoJ back in a disadvantageous situation. You never want to be above Rosalina, especially not as a character as big as DK. DK, one of his big struggles is uh, disadvantage, especially landing on, against characters with disjointed hitboxes or, you know, an entire second character. All right. Rock the jab to send off stage. And, ooh, sending the wrong way, unfortunately. That down air. JoJ with the second opportunity here to close out this stock before he just keeps getting hit by these up smashes. Oh, and there it is. Racking up the damage on the Luma. Not quite able to kill the Luma just yet, but that down throw going to send off stage. Great stuff. Just saving that Luma last second and the Luma repaying the favor immediately. Saving Rosalina from the clutches of Donkey Kong. Man, just really struggling to find this kill, unfortunately. Oh, no. Lo Rosa trying to recall Luma, but getting caught. And finally, at 212%, able to close out that stock. And I feel like we're going to see a repeat of stock number one, where Joji's just going to close this out before taking any damage of his own. Yeah, there it is. And we're back down to an even game. One stock each. Sunfish has been doing an incredible job in the neutral, racking up his damage, but the kills are wh where he's struggling a little bit. JoJ, he has been finding the stock first, but immediately after that, JoJ has been able to re retaliate. Ah, oh, <laughs> getting stuck between a rock and a hard Luma. Good up re all the way to center stage, and that very angry Donkey Kong punch to kill that Luma immediately. Now we'll have to see if Sunfish can close out this game without needing Luma, or if Joji is going to use this opportunity. That forward smash, if he had charged it a little bit longer, I think would have been the end. And getting caught off guard by that forward smash of Sunfish is going to close out game number two in favor of Sunfish. I believe they are going to run it straight back on PS2. Do the Lumas have different stats or are they just different colors? I am almost positive that they are just different colors. However, I am not a 100% reliable source of information. So if somebody else wants to chime in, please do so. I will always cover my best bases. I will tell you what I think is true, and then you will tell me if I'm wrong. And Joji going to Ike. Yes, baby. Although I will say this was not one of my favorite matchups as an Ike player myself. Uh, Rosalina's neutral air is high key, just as broken, if not more broken than Ike's. Uh, don't, don't at me. Um, but shout outs to Puzzler Boy. I used to play against Aluma all the time and the era of Rosa all the time and I would get waxed. Great stuff here coming out from JoJ though. These low percent combos that Ike is known for with the neutral air. Trying to up B there in order to get out of that corner but Sunfish too quick with the grab. Cool. I am actually genuinely surprised that neither of those hits of down smash hit the Luma, but I'm going to chalk it up to uh, some crazy nonsense. And Sunfish here, after losing his first stock, has slowed down the pace of the match a little bit, wants to close out the stock before taking too much damage on this second one. Comboing Luma, notoriously difficult, is like... <laughs> Ooh, okay. Good use of the neutral layers again. Just racking up this damage on the Luma and eventually killing it. And Joji now has an opportunity here to really push his advantage. Sunfish playing a little bit scared. Ooh, okay. He went for the read uh, off of that down tilt, but Sunfish was getting way the heck out of there. Uh, and that backer is just going to kill Luma again, and that's going to be it. Another 10 seconds or so before Sunfish has access to Luma. Cool. This movement with Ike is just so clean. There's a reason Joji's as good as he is with this character. <laughs> All right, but right as I'm praising him, uh, very unsafe up B and Sunfish able to capitalize with an up smash to close out that stock, finally. 
at 109, though. That down air through the stage gonna close out Sunfish's second stock, and now a full stock advantage for JoJ. We will have to see if Sunfish can make any adaptations here. Great start, the forward throw into the Luma up smash. Just keeping Luma untethered this entire time. Again, another forward throw, just clean into the up smash. Hey, I mean, Sunfish doing a really good job. 71% unanswered so far. Finally, JoJ able to find the neutral air, but only 20% before sent back into disadvantage. And here we go. It's now or never, Sunfish. You gotta have these opportunities, but JoJ sending off stage with that forward air. The lingering down air not quite gonna find its mark. Ike forward air off stage. That move never kills, by the way. And Joji just baiting in and out, in and out, just trying to bait Sunfish into doing anything that he can punish. But Sunfish playing very intelligently, finding his way around this offense. Great tech, honestly, uh, from Joji. Ooh, okay, he did make it back. I wasn't sure if he'd be able to. And an untethered Luma up smash is going to close out that second stock. This is still doable. I mean, he's at 82%, and uh, Ike does have a lot of very strong moves. However, Sunfish is going to have to play this perfectly if he wants to close out this set. Ooh, the dash attack not quite going to kill just yet, but another one of those definitely will, and he's now left without his Luma off stage. What is Sunfish going to do in this situation? Uh, that, okay, that was such a good recovery. He knew that he made a mistake. Uh, he was off stage. He was going to do a re-grab, but he was able to make it back. And again, this is like this is Sunfish's last chance. He can still bring this back. Ike, if he doesn't find his kill confirms, all he can do is a strong dash attack, a hard read, and that dash attack will be enough to close out that game number three and the set in favor of JoJ. A very close game. Sunfish did a very good job of slowly bringing it back. However, it was slightly too little too late. And joining me here on the mic now is Electrode. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. I like your t-shirt. That's Thank very you. funny. <laughs> How are you doing? Pretty good. Yeah? You did. still in bracket? Yeah. Did pretty well in squads. Nice. How'd you place? I got third. Ooh, very nice. What is, what's your team? Zelda? Zelda Bowser Cloud. Bowser Cloud. Interesting. 